What's the correct way to send the bolt home when performing a speed reload on an AR-15? The answer is this week's episode of Tactical Tidbits. Hi friends, I'm Herman Morris of Alpha One Tactical asking you to please help me spread the word of personal safety by sharing this video in whatever medium you're watching it. Okay, so in a previous episode, I discussed the two main methods for sending the slide home on a pistol, rack versus slide lock. Well today, I'm going to address the two main schools of thought on how to send the bolt home on an AR-15 when performing an emergency or speed reload. Now, I'll, I'm limiting the discussion to the AR-15 platform because that's where most of the controversy lies given that it has a unique type of charging handle. And as with everything I discuss with regards to training, there are no absolutes, only trade-offs. Both of these techniques are perfectly acceptable, but I will explain the pros and cons of both and, and why I teach one over the other. All right, so the two main techniques for sending the bolt home when it's locked back are pressing on the bolt release, or also known as the ping pong paddle above the bolt catch, or by simply pulling the charging handle to release the bolt stop. Simple. Well, when it comes to speed reloads, I teach the former, I'm gonna tell you why. The main contention between the two schools of thought about working the charging handle versus the bolt release usually comes down to gross motor skills versus fine motor skills. And if you've watched my video that on that topic, you know that it's not just about those two categories, but that simple versus complex motor skills also uh, come into play. So it's important to note that unless you're using an AR-15 as a club, Every manipulation we perform with one is a complex motor skill. But you might ask, well, in the pistol video, didn't you prefer the power rack method over the slide lock method because it's a gross motor skill? Well, no. I mentioned that it depended on the level of commitment to training by the student, whether it would be beneficial to learn a fine motor skill over a gross motor skill when they are both complex. In addition, I gave a couple of reasons why the power rack method provided added value beyond the gross motor um, skill aspect. Namely, that it afforded more compression of the recoil spring, which can help in ad adverse conditions. And here's where I see a big disconnect with, with a lot of folks. They see a perfect analog between the power rack and actuating the charging handle on a rifle as well as the slide lock being the exact same as the bolt or catch release. While they're very similar, they're not exactly the same. Here's why. For starters, it's important to note that while a pistol can be used optimally with both hands, it can be used one-handed without issue. A rifle, on the other hand, is a two-handed affair, period. In addition, when you look at a bolt carrier on the uh, a bolt carrier and the charging handle, there are two separate parts that are not attached to each other permanently. In a pistol, when you manipulate the slide, you're directly manipulating the part that cycles. In a rifle, you're manipulating a part that com comes into contact with the bolt carrier group. So it's not the same. Now, the similarities between the slide lock on a pistol and the bolt catch on an AR are much more similar, except that in an AR-15, the bolt catch is also a bolt release. There are two different buttons on the same mechanism. Okay, well, why does any of this matter? Well, if we recognize that all rifle manipulations are complex and require two hands to perform, then we are already locked into having to train in order to be proficient at any of them. While the gross motor skill aspect of releasing the bolt by working the charging handle at first glance would seem like a plus, the reality is that it doesn't provide added value since it means that it will take longer 
to get you to your two-handed firing position, including cheek weld and you know sight, pic sight picture. You spend more time holding the rifle up with one hand. It's the bottom line. Now, if we're doing a proper reload, our support hand is, should already be at the magwell, and all we need to do is send the bolt home. Having the magwell as an index point, our thumb can easily find the bolt release and it doesn't require much force to press. During that entire process, we have both hands on the rifle and can obtain a proper firing position. In addition, unlike the pistol example in which we get a significant amount of additional spring compression with the power rack, the same cannot be said for the, char for the charging handle or the charging handle method on the AR. The bolt is already as far back as it can go inside of that buffer tube. It's also important to note that when we're resolving other issues, such as a double feed, let's say, we also have to train to lock the bolt back in order to resolve it, right? So we're, all, we're always drilling other fine motor skills, and this one is no different. So put in the time to develop these skills into a second nature so that you can perform them under stress no matter what they are. And we'll teach you how to do just that at Alpha One Tactical. So check out our class schedule at alphaonetactical.com. We'd love to have you. See you next time.